Hey, it's Kurt Frankenberg again, and I'm broadcasting live during the market. It's uh, 1.26 p.m. local time, which means it's 3.36 on the East Coast. I'm sorry, 3.26 on the East Coast, and um, uh, it's March 29th, 2010. We're going to take a look at Research in Motion and compare the Married Put strategy to a um, cover call strategy and also the long call. So let's take a look. Here we have Research in Motion trading at $75.61. And um, uh, if we were to buy a married put option, here's how it would be done radioactively. In fact, right now I'm holding a position like this with 300 shares of Research in Motion and three September 2010 $85 puts. Before I show this position, I want to make certain that it's clear that I'm not making a recommendation to buy or sell any stock. What I am doing is showing how I would play any stock. Okay, So here we are with the uh, $85 calls and puts. If you were to buy a long call, you'd pay $4.70, and coincidentally, that's how much you have at risk, $4.70. On the other hand, you might pick up a... Uh, long puts to add to your stock. And a lot of folks will argue that that's the same thing, but it's not. It takes a little bit more capital, and uh, that's a good thing because what you do is force yourself not to take too big of a position. Also, there is an advantage in buying a put, uh, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, so here we are uh, with uh, Research in Motion stock at $75.61. If we were to pick up a uh, September $85 put option and pay the ask here $13.90. Sometimes I get inside this spread, all right, but in case I didn't get inside this spread, it'd be $13.90, all right. Uh, so there's the stock, there's the cost of the put option, and that's my total expenditure, the, the sum of those two numbers, $89.51 a share. Now, let me bring this calendar into there. Now, uh, I have a guarantee that I'm going to get back at least $85. Why? Well, because of this $85 strike on the put option. I'm going to get that back. So the difference between what I've spent and what I'm going to get back for sure uh, anytime between now and September uh, expiration 2010 is going to be $4.51. Now let's compare that again. All right, How much would I spend for the long call? Well, I'd spend more. Uh, instead of $4.51, I'd spend 19 more cents. I'd spend $4.70. So that is a difference, and that's a difference that I exploit all the time. Now, uh, let's take a look at the idea of uh, doing a cover call instead. Usually, when we do cover calls trades, we're talking about uh, selling um, a near term. Okay, so let's look at the April numbers near term and slightly out of the money or slightly in the money call option. Now if we sold the uh, $75 call, we'd be obligated to deliver at $75, but we'd take in $4 of premium like right now. Um, but let's just say that we sell the $80, okay, because the stock is, uh, after all, above $75, and uh, it's, it's above $75, it's $75.61 right now. So let's give it a little bit of grow room, all right? Uh, maybe we can pick up a little bit of uh, extra uh, movement of capital in the trade. So $2.01, that's the credit that I would take if I was to sell this uh, put right, I'm sorry, sell this call right now. So we've got the same thing here, same setup, only instead of uh, adding, we're going to subtract, all right, $2.01. All right, so we're going to subtract, whoops, and that is not a put option anymore, that's a call option. And so our total out will be a different number. It'll be 7360. And our guarantee, well, we don't have any guarantees. So how much do we have at risk? Well, we're going to have the same amount at risk. We're going to have 7360 at risk. That's, after all, how much we've put into the trade, and that's how much we uh, stand to lose in case research and motion totally takes a dump. Now, uh, Earnings happen in two days. We're going to compare. In two days, I'm going to send out a new video, and we're going to compare what, what happened uh, for real with the married put to what might have happened had we gotten a long call 